so in this video we will complete the um, <coughs> add employee model pop-up and also its form fields so currently we have this uh, which is coming from the department add department model we have to replace this and we have to add a new um, add employee model pop-up with the fields so there should be employee name employee uh, employee name department uh, employee mail id and date of joining so let's start doing that so let's add a new file and call it as add emp model dot js okay so let's open up the add department model dot js and take the reference of this file and do the no, and complete the add employee model code so let's import everything that is needed first so we have the react component model button row column form then snack bar and icon button for the snack bar okay and let's add this code which is export class instead of add department model it should be add employee model okay so the next thing that we want is the constructor let's copy the constructor so in the constructor we don't have to change anything we have the snack bar open snack bar message handle submit which is used for the post method let's keep it as is and uh, let's move on to the next one we need the snack bar we'll copy that and we'll paste that here so the snack bar remains the same snack bar close method to the handle submit let's copy the handle submit up until here and so this is where the post method happens so instead of calling the department api to send the details we have to, we now have to call the employee api slash employee method to post our employee details and here we have the employee id null and uh, employee name which will be equal to event dot target dot employee name which will be coming from the form text box fields and uh, next we have the department okay we completed the department next we have sorry copy mail id and date of joining so we have mail id mail id finally we have date of joining date of joining date of joining employee name employee department mail id date of joining so that is all we need rest all same remains the same the response will be shown in the snack bar so that should be fine with us and the finally we're going to copy the render method everything inside the render method and modify the code so yeah up until here let's copy and paste uh, after this in the render method let's see what are the changes that are required the first thing is add employee instead of add department so the, the columns the form group that we have initially is this department name we should now have employee name let's copy and paste it sorry copy paste paste done next just like employee name we need a text box for department then uh, mail id 
and uh, finally date of joining department melody and date of joining yes so let's replace that so here instead of employee let's make it department department okay it's department 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 then we have mail id mail id mail id mail id mail id mail id finally date of joining date of joining let's paste here date of joining date of joining done finally add employee should be the name of the button next what should we do is copy this go back to the employee.js component let's import add um, add employee model instead of add department model and then the same thing goes uh, here and then in the last we have uh, the add department model which is showing up now now we have to show add employee model let's hope there are no issues there are no issues click on add employee and we can see employee name department mail id and date of joining so in the next video we will learn how to implement the drop down for the department and text box for date of joining and then also try to verify that the add employee is the consumption of the api method the post method is successful or not okay